Yo, Guan. Hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install Waves plugins in FL Studio 20. So if you want to use those Waves plugins, and some of them are really, really good. Some of them really, really help out with your mixing and whatnot. I swear they've got some VSTs, but I ain't using any Wave VSTs, let's be real. I've just used their, their vocal mixing stuff, and some of them make your vocals taste like mm -hmm. I mean, sound like not taste. Who, who tastes vocals? Anyways, this video is going to help you out a lot and walk you through the process that you need to go through so that you can start using those Waves plugins in FL Studio. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm Jay Carter Ray from jaycarterray.com, teaching you how to be better at music, online business, and online marketing. This is the number one spot for musicians and creatives that don't want to be starving eyes. So if that sounds like you, click on that subscribe button, check out the rest of the content on the channel. You will absolutely love it here. Now let's get straight into it. In order to start installing your Waves plugins, you need to go to waves.com. You need to go to the Waves website, then you need to go to downloads, then you need to go to latest version, which will get you to the Waves Central page. This is where you need to be. You need to download Wave Central in order to use Waves plugins. So when you get to this page, you want to download whichever is the correct version for your system. I use Windows, so I downloaded the Windows version. Now I'm going to walk you through the installation. Now when I did install the first time, I did have some problems. It, it seemed like it was just sticking at the end of the installation, so I ended up canceling it and going through it yet again so i did install it twice but if you already got an old version of wave central installed in your system already or you've used wave plugins in the past but you haven't done it through wave central it will actually uninstall all wave central and all that sort of stuff and then it will pop up again and start installing the new version of wave central now as i said i the first time it was installing it just didn't go through to the end for some reason so i had to start it again so keep that in mind you may have to do that but once you do that you'll get the wave central icon on your desktop and you'll easily be able to double click on that and get wave central up and running so you want to double click on that wait for wave central to load up then you need to enter your username and password and this is the same username and password that you entered when you purchased these waves plugins so whatever login you use to access the waves.com site so that you can access all your plugins and stuff or whichever one you created when you actually purchase these plugins that's the same username and password you want to enter here and after you do that it will basically sync your account with the plugins that you have purchased on your account. After that, you'll have the opportunity to select the plugins that you actually want to install on the system that you're currently on. So basically, if this is your first time, you wanna select all of them or otherwise just select the plugins that you want to install this time around. Then you wanna click on the blue install and activate button. And after you do that, you'll have to wait <laughs> a bit of a long time to get all these plugins installed and ready to go. And then after you've done that, it will say install and active activate complete. But the thing is, you're not done yet. This isn't the end of the show. In order to actually get these plugins to show in FL Studio, you gotta do a little bit of finagling. So let me show you how to do that right now. So in FL Studio, I've got I've already got a video that shows you how to manage and install new plugins, but I'm gonna quickly walk you through the basics of this. If you want the full in-depth version, you can go and check out that video. But the basics is you just go to tools. My bad. You go to options, go to manage plugins. And when you get to this page, what you basically want to do at this point is you want to scan. So you'd hit that find plugins button and that will scan through all these folders that you've selected in order to, you know, let your system scan through these folders because these are where you're putting VSTs and whatnot. So once that happens, if this is your, if you've just installed these Waves plugins, they'll all be like orange like this. And then at that point, they won't have these stars on them already. You'll just have to click next to where the stars should be. And once you click that, it basically, it favorites this plugin, which means that when you actually go to open this plugin, it will actually be there. So for example, if I go over here to this slot in the mixer and I go to try and use 
Um, Arvox, there we go, Arvox, it's there. So you need this star to be next to the plugin, otherwise you won't be able to see it when you when you try to basically just add it from that list that I just showed you. So after you do that, just add all the stars and then close this and then you'll be able to use your plugins really, really easily. Hope this video helped you out and walked you through the steps really, really straightforward. So let me recap that for you again. You need to go to waves.com. Then you need to go to downloads, latest version, Wave Central, download Wave Central. You need to install Wave Central. Then when that pops up, when that's installed, you need to open Wave Central, enter your email or username and password. Then you need to install and activate your plugins. Then you need to come into FL Studio, go to options, manage plugins and find your plugins, then add a star next to it so that it's favorited so that you can use these plugins and then Bob's your uncle, you're done. So <laughs> that might have been a little bit complex if it's too hard for you to follow, just watch through the video again and you'll get it in no time. Now, if you've got any questions or any other tutorials you want me to make, please leave those in the comment section down below. I'm always happy to help out. And my question of the day to you is what Waves plugins have you got? Let me know in the comment section down below because you might have some great stuff that I might want to use. So let me know how you use those plugins as well because that will really, really help out. Now, before you go, I quickly want to remind you that my template is available for you to download there's a link in the description down below this template will basically half your mixing time so when you get into this project and when you start trying to make beats your beats are already half mixed all you really need to do is move around some levels or add any effects that you want on these channels it's already got eq it's already got the basic effects that you need in order to get a good sounding beat up and running this is my r&b trap fl studio template if you want to grab this remember link is in the description or go to jcarterray.com forward slash rnb trap fl grab that asap it's going to save you a bunch of time and yeah there are also you know free stuff in the description that you can check out free gifts for watching this far in the video and i'll see you in the next video where you'll learn more about music online business and online production peace out